electromagnetic control. The pseudonym was Buzzsaw, or EEMC. Um, so this was actually through television, um, uh, electronic multidirectional subliminal suggestion and programming using ULF, VHF, and uh, high-frequency phase modulation, a uh, project called RF Media in 1990 by the CIA. Um, you know, and, and we should also look into, uh, you know, lily waves, because lily waves can travel through uh, computers, lily waves can travel through television, through radio, um, and these lily waves go past um, the, the conscious mind of, the human, of humans to uh, um, pass the subconscious, into the subconscious mind. Um, you know, and there have been a lot of uh, examples of, um, you know, people getting a picture, like doing a selfie, and, and on the TV screen, it has this big word, like, kill on it. Uh, so there's been a lot of subliminal programming with television to where, you know, nowadays it is, um, you know, just proliferating uh, the control, the mind control that they can do uh, through our televisions, through cable. Um, and that's, you know, I, I believe that that's one reason why we have a population that is asleep, um, that is asleep and believing certain things uh, on an on an illogical level, uh, because they have, um, you know, they've they've uh, advanced these techniques through television, through media, uh, of subliminal mind control, um, and also sending certain signals through radio television, um, you know, uh, radio, television, and film. Okay, so we're going to go to 1990 uh, Project Tower by the CIA and the NSA. Electronic cross-country subliminal programming and suggestion. Uh, targeting mass population, short-range intervals, long-range cumulative. Uh, frequencies, microwave, uh, extremely high frequency, and SHF, which I'm not sure which, what SHF is. Uh, methodology, uh, cellular telephone system, ELF modulation. Uh, purpose, programming through neural resonance and encoded information. Effect, neural degeneration, DNA res resonance modification, and psychic suppression. The pseudonym was Wedding Bells, so Project Tower in 1990 by the CIA and NSA. Electronic cross-country subliminal programming and suggestion. Okay, so we'll go to 1995, uh, HARP, Project HARP, by the CIA, the NSA, and the ONR. I need to find out what ONR stands for. Maybe somebody can put it in the comments. Um, something national. Uh, the Electromagnetic Resonant Induction Mass Population Control. Uh, location, Gakona, Alaska. Frequency, atmospheric phase-locked resonance, UHF and VHF. Uh, potential, DNA code alteration in population and mass behavior modification. Uh, power, gigawatt to terawatt range. Step-down reflective frequencies, approximately 1.1 gigahertz. Human DNA resonant frequency. Cellular system phase lock. And I'm not sure what all that means. But we all know about Project HARP, and it uses a lot of the microwaves and electromagnetic frequencies, um, I think extremely low frequencies too, um, and they have been able to uh, create earthquakes um, and affect weather systems, uh, as well as uh, affecting human minds on a mass scale. Um, so, okay, so we'll go to Project Clean Sweep uh, in 1970, 1997 and 1998. By the CIA, <coughs> by the CIA, NSA, and ONR, uh, electromagnetic resonant induction and mass population control, location nationwide, uh, frequencies, emotional wavelengths, data gathering through helicopter probes, following media events, rebroadcast in order to re-stimulate population emotional levels for recreation of event scenarios. Reference LE number 108, March 1998. Uh, potential, uh, mass behavior modification. Uh, power, unknown, possibly rebroadcast through GWIN, network or cellular tower frequencies coordinated from NBS in Colorado. So this is Project Clean Sweep, 1970, uh, 1997 and 1998. Electromagnetic resonant induction and mass population control. 
so these are these are some of the documented um, you know uh, projects with directed energy weapons uh, affecting people on a non-consensual level on, and and a lot of the times on a mass non-consensual level with uh, extremely low frequencies and high frequencies directed energy because extremely low frequency uh, sound and, and high frequency sound are part of the electromagnetic spectrum which I think non-TIs need to understand and also a lot of target individuals need to understand that um, you know, sonics, uh, sonic weapons, the, that, the use of that term goes into the category. Everything goes into that category of directed energy weapons because uh, energy, electromagnetic frequency or energy can be sound, it can be, um, you know, it can be microwave, it can be uh, x-ray, it can be gamma rays. Uh, we need to look at the electromagnetic spectrum because with these, um, you know, with these remote platforms that they're using for, you know, my targeting um, and a lot of other target individuals targeting, um, they can use pretty much any frequency on the electromagnetic spectrum, which goes from sound to x-rays um, to microwaves. Um, so we've got to understand that, that, that when, I, when I talk about high frequency and, and uh, extremely low frequency, uh, sound uh, that is actually directed energy um, because it is on the electromagnetic spectrum it's an electromagnetic uh, frequency okay so I think I want to go well I'm at 21 minutes <clears throat> let's see let's see what else is in electronic weapons I might go through a little bit more because, I mean, this is what I feel like doing today. I did, <coughs> my uh, my car, my battery uh, died. Um, and I'm pretty sure that it was my attackers who kept hitting it. But, um, you know, I had a stroke of luck. And I think it was God um, getting involved where my mom came into town for like one day. She came into town for like, sat well, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, you know, she sent me a text message on Saturday night, but I was asleep. Um, and then Sunday morning I was walking to the, um, the corner store just to get some food and stuff. And, uh, she drove by and, you know, we met up and, um, she was able to, to give my car a jump. And now it starts up perfectly, which makes me very suspicious that they were just over a long period of time hitting my car battery. Um, so that I would think it was maybe something else, you know, wrong with my car. But now it starts up fine, um, you know, and I spent the day, I spent yesterday with my mom, which was wonderful. Um, she watches, you know, I, she kind of mentioned it during Thanksgiving that she, she watched my, uh, YouTube videos. Um, <clears throat> and she's, she's kind of looking into this stuff. Um, the, the Cuban embassy attacks were just, uh, so parallel um, to what I was explaining uh, from the beginning of my targeting, the symptom well, not the symptoms, we don't like to say symptoms because that's illness, uh, the effects of these directed energy weapons on the body, uh, what, what we experience. Um, you know, when I first started explaining to my parents, like when I knew I was under attack, um, the high-pitched sound, uh, you know, my head feeling like it's about to explode, um, you know, and things like that, they just added up exactly to what they were explaining, uh, you know, what the State Department workers, the 24 State Department workers were explaining they were experiencing. So my parents, like, that clicked. That made, that made things for my parents click. They, they, they were kind of on the, the fence, but then they heard that and they were like, whoa, because what I explained to them was exactly parallel to what those State Department workers uh, were explaining. So... You know, when you're explaining something to somebody and they don't believe you or it's like, eh, they're, they're just, their brain is kind of fumbling and, you know, they try and move on to another subject, have no fear because they're probably going to see something in the near future, even now with the Cuban embassy attack, but more and more information is going to come out that's going to jostle that, uh, what you have told them. So, you know, it, it it's not useless to tell people, um, you know, not to always harp on it, uh, no pun intended there, um, you know, because cause sometimes, you know, you just want to be with your family, 
but it's hard, you know, when we're surviving, but, um, it's not useless to, to tell them, you know, what you're going through, because they are going to see more and more things coming out about this stuff. Um, I, this is, this is really too big, and I want to do this, but it's a manual for organized gang stalking operations, uh, FBI's COINTELPRO, Operation Gladio, NATO Stay Behind Armies, an ongoing global U.S. military, unconventional civil military, Psy War, Information War Operations. I, I think I want to do that on a whole nother video uh, to give a precedence for where gang stalking came from, uh, what it's built upon. Um, patents, articles, and statements on mind control and direct energy weapons. Let me, uh, since I'm getting, I'm about 25 minutes, I'm going to make this a 30 minute video. Um, I'm going to go back to the home page um, and maybe go through just some more quotes. I love the quotes that, um, that Dr. Carlstrom puts up. So just to end this one, um, I'm going to go through um, some more quotes that I like. I may, I may repeat some that I did in other videos. Um, and I will be making a lot of videos, um, just like I said, to increase education, uh, to build more awareness in, in the public. And, and so many other target individuals are doing this like on a grand scale. Um, <clears throat> it's really happening exponentially, guys. So uh, anybody, um, there's not a lot of target individuals, I think, on the sidelines. Um, but I know that some are. They're kind of you know, hoping, hoping this will just pass by, uh, jump into the fight, um, this is our lives, um, there are tons of target individuals talking out and speaking out so intelligently, uh, Techno Crime Fires Forum, TITV, um, you know, individuals, um, like Brian too, um, you know, so now is the time, it's increasing exponentially, and we need to strike while the iron's hot, and while more and more things are coming out, so it'll just enrich those actual truths. Um, you know, the the T, the global TI survey when that comes out, it'll hit people harder. Um, what's being done with that? Uh, when we build a base for it, when we keep building a case, and we keep building education about this, um, I'm going to do this quote by Robert Duncan to kind of end. Um, Okay, so it's some advice to target individuals. Uh, DOD, CIA, NSA, FBI, DHS, local law enforcement roles. <coughs> oh, God, I'm trying to beat this cold. So, uh, that, I, th I think that was from the one before. Well, we'll just jump to this. Um, this, is, this is from uh, CIA researcher and author Dr. Robert Duncan from his book, The Invisible War, 21st Century Targeting. Uh, my advice to TIs, target individuals, is... Don't panic. Panic and fear is what the system thrives on, and don't assume you know who is behind it. Mind control is so powerful, and their technology is so advanced. And third, look at the legal picture. You go to your state, even if you could win a lawsuit in your state, because, for example, Michigan has laws against electronic weapons, but they can't, enforce, they can't be enforced because this is something bigger. This is federal. So let's say your lawsuit even makes it to the Supreme Court, but this is classified, and this has been done by the CIA for a long time, along with other agencies experimenting on the citizens, and this is worldwide. There is no way an agency or government can possibly admit this level of assassination and torture without a complete collapse. So know what you are dealing with. This is going to take a long time to be, be solved, and I hope not much longer. Um, he does say, I think he said in 2012 that it would take about 10 more years. Um, but I've heard different... Um, I, I, I think that we have a lot of hope this year for things to change and people to understand. Uh, and we've got to keep just striving at it because even one person, even you, and I am talking to you who is watching this video, you might think that you might not have any new information to offer, but the way that you speak in your situation could turn the tides. Um, so please speak out, guys. Please speak out. You just don't know who you're going to inspire, um, you know, and, and then what they can do. Um, this is not set in stone. And, and uh, the population, um, you know, um, you know, they're, they're getting help from them um, is, is so important. Uh, enough people saying no, um, we, can, we can stop. 
this 